Tiny Train's Big Job, written by Connor Wolf, adapted by Lisa Harkrader, read by Kevin Hunter. Tiny Train chugged into the train house. Night was falling and she wanted to get to bed early. The quicker I get to sleep, she said, the quicker morning will come. Tiny Train backed into the train house beside diesel engine and passenger engine. Tiny Train was the smallest train in the train yard, so she had the smallest stall. But I don't mind, she said. Tomorrow I will get to leave the train yard for the first time. I'll show everyone that small trains can do big things. Tiny Train drifted off to sleep. All night long she dreamed of the things she would do once she left the train yard. In her dream she hauled valuable cargo over tall mountains. When she delivered her cargo, the engineer and brakeman cheered. Thank you, Tiny Train, they said. You pulled more boxcars than any other engine in the train yard. We couldn't have done it without you. Once her cargo was delivered, her dreams took her off on another adventure. This time she was an express train, carrying very important passengers to very important meetings far away. When she arrived at the station, the passengers cheered and shouted, Thank you, Tiny Train. That was the fastest trip and the smoothest ride we've ever had. We couldn't have gotten here without you. Morning came and Tiny Train woke up early. She rumbled out of the train house, ready to make her dreams come true. Toot toot! Tiny Train sounded her whistle and chugged down the tracks out of the train yard. She saw a diesel engine pulling a heavy load of logs and coal. I could pull a load like that, Tiny Train thought to herself. She rolled over to Diesel Engine and blew her whistle again. I'm here to help, said Tiny Train. If you want to help, Puff Diesel Engine, just stay out of my way. I've got hard work to do. I can work hard, said Tiny Train. I'm sure you can, said Diesel Engine, but this job is too big for a little train like you. Run along and find something else to do, something your size. Diesel Engine chugged on with his heavy load. Tiny Train frowned. Small trains can do big things. She tooted her whistle and chugged off down the tracks. Soon she saw a passenger engine. Passenger engine looked so sleek and shiny carrying her important passengers. Tiny Train could see those passengers through the windows. She saw serious looking business people traveling to meetings. She saw excited families eager to start their vacations. They were all depending on passenger train to get them where they were going. They could depend on me too, Tiny Train thought to herself. She tooted her whistle and sped up to catch passenger engine. I came to help, said Tiny Train. You are much too small, said passenger engine, and we are going too fast. You could never keep up. Yes, I could, panted Tiny Train. I'm very dependable. Yes, you are, said passenger engine, but this job is too big for a little train like you. Run along and find something else to do. Something your size. Passenger engine steamed off down the tracks. Tiny train huffed and puffed to a stop. Passenger engine was going fast, she said, but I could go fast too. Small trains can do big things. Tiny train tooted her whistle and chugged off down the tracks. Soon she came to the zoo tunnel. A train car was stopped on the tracks. Baby elephant sat inside the car. Railroad workers and zoo officials were looking at baby elephant and scratching their heads. Tiny Train rolled over to the train car. What's the matter? she asked. I need to get into the zoo to be with my mother, said baby elephant, but all the train engines are too big to go through such a small tunnel. Tiny Train looked at the tunnel. It's small, she said, but so am I. Tiny Train backed up and hooked onto baby elephant's train car. She puffed out steam, tooted her whistle, and chugged through the tunnel. Baby Elephant was so happy she raised her trunk and let out a big trumpeting sound. Mama Elephant was also happy and trumpeted back. The railroad workers and zoo officials cheered. Thank you, Tiny Train, they said. We couldn't have done it without you. You can work here every day. This job is just the right size for you. The animals all cheered. Tiny Train was very happy. This job is the right size for me, Tiny Train said as she chugged down the track, because small trains can do big things, you know. I'm Kevin Hunter. Thanks for listening.